Right guys, so I'm gonna kickstart this video by asking you guys a question. Are expensive tripods worth it? Specifically for this video, what do you think of the Peak Design aluminium tripod? Do you think it's worth it looking at the specs and price? Do you wanna know what my thoughts are on this specific tripod? I'm gonna be going over exactly that guys. Keep tuned to the rest of the video. I'm gonna be discussing the Peak Design tripod. Let's get started. Right guys, so before I get started into this video, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? hit the subscribe button below, that will greatly support my channel. On top of that, hit the like button if you enjoy this video, and also hit the notification bell so you are notified every time I do a video. So formalities aside now, I'm just gonna be discussing uh, this specific tripod with you guys. Uh, it's a very popular brand. Lots of YouTubers have discussed this. My review isn't gonna be an in-depth review of this specific tripod. I'm just going to be discussing my thoughts on this. I am no professional or I don't have in-depth knowledge about tripods. So guys, uh, before I, you know, did get into this, you already know that I do various things on my channel, you know, from fashion reviews, accessory reviews, now camera accessory reviews. Uh, I like to kind of vary it out. So just to let you know, this channel isn't narrow to a specific thing. Everything I use on a daily basis, anything I can discuss with you guys, anything I can recommend, get your thoughts on, I'm gonna do a video on that. So just to let you know, this, there's no specific niche to this channel. So yeah, I just thought I'd get that out of the way. Anyways, getting into this. So I'm gonna discuss with you why I purchased this tripod. Why did I go out and consider even getting such an expensive tripod when you can get like a 50, 60 pound tripod that can do the exact same thing because all you need it for is, you know, standing up and holding whatever you need on top. Why do you wanna spend so much essentially? And I do agree with that in principle, um, but if you have an expensive camera uh, on top of a cheap tripod, uh, you know, you've got an expensive piece of equipment so you're always going to have that worry in mind that if the, uh, the camera is over a thousand pounds you've put it on a cheapy tripod you know there, there could be consequences to that it could fail but you know for some people the cheap tripods have done the job but i did have I had the vanguard carbon fiber tripod so i'm gonna put a picture uh, here somewhere it costed 150 pounds. It did a really good job, to be honest. It only weighed like a kilo and 30, so I presume that's 300 grams. It was a very, very light tripod, but after two years of using it, the ball head function just stopped working. It was like, it, start, it got very rigid, and I, I just felt that was a, a, you know, after just using it for a handful of times, it's not like I use it all the time because I use a Gorilla Pod. It, it shouldn't have done that. So I essentially returned that uh, to uh, the company because it wasn't that good. And at that point, I thought, why don't I kill two birds with one stone? Uh, I get an expensive tripod like Peak Design and I can discuss it in this video. And obviously if, if I like it, then you know, I can keep it. Otherwise it's got the labels, everything on it, I can return it. But like I said, the carbon fiber tripod I had was really good in the sense it was light. The first thing I'm picking up with this tripod is the weight. It's, it's really hefty. It's got quite a bulk to it. It weighs, it says here, What's the weight on here? One kilo at 56, which I think is kilo and 500 grams. But this, I'm gonna tell you guys, when I got it in the post dry, the box was quite heavy, but I was thinking, okay, okay, it might be some other, you know, like some crap in their tissues and stuff. So I'm just gonna give it the benefit of the doubt. I took it out, it was in this actual bag. It's this one here, you know, it's really nice, like kind of fitted bag. Uh, I like that peak design. Uh, but it was quite heavy. I was like, maybe if I open it up, it's just uh, take out the bag, you know, it might be still some more things in there, but 
Yeah, it's really heavy, guys. This is, uh, I think, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. It's quite heavy, and that's why I've kept the label on because I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep it because the weight is very off-putting. But it's not like I'm going to take it out with me. So then you guys are asking why did I go for a travel one? Uh, essentially, uh, I don't, to be honest, I like the fact that you can easily move with travel tripods wherever you want to take them. It's much more simpler than if you have a proper setup. I just find it a little bit more uh, tricky. So I just, uh, you know. It does the job it's not like oh it's a travel tripod and you can't use it uh, at home or you have to always use it outside you know that's not it but yeah that's why i went for a travel one so that's the first thing i know is the weight so yeah i'm 50 50 on that the design guys the design of this is absolutely beautiful like absolutely look at this look i'll just show you on here it's got such a compact, well-built design. It's, it's like they've put a lot of effort into uh, designing this, uh, how they, you know, how they set everything out, how they've structured it. It's so streamlined, it's well thought out. I'm really, really impressed. So the design for me is 10 out of 10. The issue I have, I would say, like I said, the design is really good. The way I have an issue with, there's a second issue here as well. So if you take off from the top here, so when it comes to locking and opening it, you just basically spin this wheel here and it, you know, it carries out that function where it locks this specific plate in place. Uh, this clip can't be moved when it's locked. That's a really, really good feature. I mean, they've, like I said, they've thought uh, the design and how everything is going to work on this. Uh, they've really thought it out. Uh, you could see they've put a lot of effort into this and it's, you know, I'm really impressed with that. But let me just take, let me unlock this. So when you unlock it here, if I can unlock it, like I'm trying to do this on camera. Let me just see if I can stand this up. And so I was actually trying to fidget around with this on the desk, but it's not working because the camera kind of darkens me out. So I'm just going to do it holding it this way. So essentially when you unlock this, the clip moves back like this, so it allows you to take the plate out. So if I remove this plate here, you can see that's kind of the base there without the plate. The issue I have, this is predominantly the main issue I have here, is with the normal type of plates at the back, you get like a circle ring where you can use it to tighten it up. That's really good. With this, unfortunately, that's not the case. If you see here, uh, it comes with like a circle plate and you get kind of a uh, hex, like a little ranch for it so you can tighten it. I mean, you have to use that additional feature to tighten it. It's a little bit annoying and you do get it with it. It's just planted on the side here nicely for you so you don't lose it. But the issue is that I pref it's just a headache. I just find that to be a headache. I prefer, you know, using the circle kind of ring, D-ring, you could say that's, that's already on the, the back of these plates. So for me, that's, that's not really great. I mean, it's not like it's a deal breaker, but I don't really like that. On top of that, the weight, you know, uh, I don't know. I just think that that aspect could have been, um, I know they're trying to streamline the design, make it more compact, slim in nature. And, you know, they probably had to carry out that kind of change there uh, to allow that kind of uh, functionality in principle, like to keep it slim and everything compact. But I just feel like um, it's a major flaw. It didn't really need to be done. Uh, just to let you know, to open it up, you can just pull this here, these, uh, how do you say it, these clips, and then it allows you to kind of extend it accordingly to whatever you need it. So that's good. But the only issue I have with the clips now is that I worry that if uh, for some reason, you know, you mistreat it and actually snaps for whatever reason, then this will be an issue because these clips kind of lock this in place. I know there's videos on YouTube where they tell you how you can carry out maintenance on this, but I'm not sure if you could fix that aspect if you do break it for whatever reason. It's not like, I don't expect this to break if you just open it and close it, but you know, for whatever reason that breaks, that's my concern there. So, uh, you get this booklet here. Like I said, I'm not going to discuss all the features in the video because you guys have already seen it in other videos. I'm discussing some points I've picked up myself. Uh, just review it, just having a look at this essentially. Uh, you, the clip that you get for the mobile phone, 
is just at the bottom here. I'm not going to bother taking this out, but the middle section of this it's just, you can access it there. So you can see this is still wrapped up essentially. And you could just pull that out. I'm not gonna do that now, but yeah, it's really easy to do that. One second, I've just kind of unlocked. When you basically don't lock it from, uh, when you don't essentially lock it from here, it allows this to come up and down, which is good guys so for those that need a central column uh, you need to do adjustable shots you have that center column there that can go up and down i'm just going to discuss in terms of the weight capacity for this specific tripod here so what it can hold here is nine kilos and a hundred grams so the weight capacity is quite good my previous vanguard one was seven kilos uh, which is a little bit less but you know i don't expect to be putting anything heavier really on the tripod so that kind of suffices for my needs just to let you know guys i went for the aluminium version i wanted to go for the carbon fiber version but i can't justify paying 200 pounds more for a carbon fiber you know uh, structure i know it's more they're saying it's a little bit more stronger and at the same time, it's lighter. But the, uh, if you look at the weight difference, it's very little. I don't see how that would be a significant difference for me anyway. But I feel if, like, you know, if that would be an issue for you, you should go for it. Uh, the carbon fiber one, if you need a, a lighter one. But like I said, if you look at the specs, it's, it doesn't seem like a huge difference. Quality wise, they're both uh, basically comparable. They're both very good quality. You get a lifetime guarantee with both. So you have that peace of mind if there's any issues because of the lifetime guarantee, you could just contact Peak Design and they should be able to assist you. So, you know, the price point uh, on this, I got it on Amazon for 329 pounds that's very expensive for a tripod especially one that uh, just basically is planted on the floor holding a camera or whatever you need it for i mean you can get a cheaper one that will do the same job you don't i don't mean like necessarily at 50 pounds you can even get one for 150 that would do a fantastic job you can get a manfrotto for 150 that's really good uh, aluminium one aluminium one with that kind of a video head so you know it's you you are paying a lot but i think you know you're more so paying for the design here and all you know the thought process carried out when constructing this honestly guys from my perspective um just discussing this specific tripod i personally feel the price point on this is not worth it and people are like no peak design is good it's really good you know you don't know nothing it i'm not saying it's bad or anything it's a fantastic tripod like it's well built it looks fantastic has some minor flaws here or there but i honestly feel that it's just it, it outweighs pretty much uh, most people's needs if you just need like a general tripod to shoot videos here or there um, I mean you can get something for this price point 329 pounds which would be I think 10 times better and carbon fiber as well so I don't know like why they have such a expensive price point I think honestly it's a good tripod but I think the maximum this should have been the aluminium one 250 pounds so the price point this is at is actually quite a lot but like i said in t if you've got the money to spend and you want to just splurge on a very nice tripod and you know you want something that's got a fantastic design it's well thought out it looks amazing sets up quickly because once you open all these up individually you can open it at one go all these clips look you can see it opens up at one go and then you can pull the legs out and close it. So if you want something that can be easily set up and you don't want to be just uh, twiddling your thumbs trying to set it up, then this is actually a very good option. And if you've got the money, then I would say go for this because, you know, it's just something like fancy. It's like a nice toy, you can say. But otherwise, I, I think I'm going to return this. So yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on this tripod. Guys, I did venture out and get a, another tripod where I'll be discussing in another video 
the Polar Pro Epix. Functionality for that is a little bit different because it's smaller in nature, uh, but that was a £79 tripod, which you can get you know, a similar one to that on Amazon with a good weight spec for about £30.35. So yeah, I'm gonna do a video on is expensive tripods worth it and discussing this one here and the Polo Pro tripod. So guys, uh, do give me your thoughts in the comments below if you own this tripod or if you own something of the same price point, any recommendations of a tripod that's robust, uh, good for this kind, well, less than this if possible. Like this is just, pff, it's just a money waste, but okay, yeah, it, that's going a bit too far, but I wouldn't say it's money waste, but it's expensive for what it is. So guys, if you found this video interesting, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell. I will be putting a video up soon, another one. Uh, guys, I hope you have a fantastic day, a week, and I'll see you in the next video. Guys, take care. Bye.